Native people often depend upon the uh, spirit world for that uh, support. In the migration story, there were seven uh, stopping off uh, places until finally uh, the uh, people were home. They were also told that they'd be near the end of their journey when they came to the place where food grows on the water. And then uh, according to prophecy, they, uh, their journey would not uh, be completed until the Megas appeared for the seventh time. So, so they went to the high ground there and uh, fasted and uh, waited for dreams and visions. And they were told to double back to uh, a place called Monengwanaquaning or Madeline Island. And uh, so the uh, wild rice is sacred to this day because uh, it plays an important uh, uh, role in the, in the prophecies of the migration story. Preparation began in the spring of uh, 95 began to, to gather in the sweat lodge and pray and talk about that something was uh, coming and that we had to take some kind of action as to what we had to do, the action, that came later. But we started preparing a, a whole year in, ad, in advance for the railroad blockade. It finally came out and I think it was in May of uh, 96 of the the shipments of severe acid and that, uh, that uh, tribal government was doing all they could to to stop that the shipments from uh, coming to the reservation because of the, the condition of the railroad tracks. Um, at that time uh, there evolved a conflict between some residents of Marengo uh, and um, members of the Bad River tribe um, Ojibwe Indians. Uh, relative to the shipping of uh, railroad car uh, loads of sulfuric acid through the Marengo area and through the reservation to a mining operation in uh, northeast Wisconsin. You could slip uh, an, uh, an operation like this through without many people actually knowing about it but they would have known about it real quick, for instance, if a train had left the tracks as it crossed the Bad River. Copper Range had planned to uh, pump uh, 11 billion gallons of uh, sulfuric acid into those uh, abandoned mine shafts to recover any uh, copper ore that uh, might be left. And that's only uh, five miles from the largest uh, body of fresh water in the world. So it, it was a pretty serious thing. As we went down that road, there was a couple of people from the tribe that I personally knew and so forth uh, that were uh, on the edge of the, uh, the forest that lined the road going down in, and they were armed. Oh, we're lucky that uh, uh, Robert Menard was uh, the undersheriff at that time, and uh, he had a pretty good uh, feeling for what the situation was. And not only that, he knew he knew some of the some of the people. There are people in that group uh, that are Vietnam veterans and uh, veterans of other uh, military operations by the United States, and some of them highly trained, special forces, uh, army rangers, uh, marines. It was a testing period that, that, that we went through. How much were we willing to sacrifice? For myself, it started with the Sundance and also the preparation and, uh, and using the, the, the sweat lodge here. So it was, uh, it was a preparation for, for a number of years that led up to what we had to do out on the railroad tracks. I went back and I informed uh, the sheriff uh, that if we went up there and tried to clear the tracks, it was pretty much probably 100% sure that shooting 
uh, would evolve, that there would be shooting. The rumor is that uh, there were U.S. Uh, marshals in town that were housed in the uh, Swamigan uh, Hotel, and these were SWAT teams that uh, were ready to go down there and take off the Ogitano if called upon to do so. After talking with them for a while, um, we left. The sheriff pulled us out of there. He said, uh, basically, if I remember right, he said, there's nothing going on here that's endangering anybody's life. And as long as the railroad doesn't do anything crazy right now, we have time to negotiate and it's inflammatory for us to be here. And so he pulled us out of there. And that's even part of the prophecies where uh, uh, new people will arise and come together in this, in this uh, new age to speak out uh, for those whose voices are turned, namely the Mother Earth, the wind, the water, the trees, the animals, and all human beings, especially those tribal people who are being overwhelmed by the uh, forces of greed and power. <laughs>